the culprit were slowing their descent by grabbing the rope with their hands, there would have been a lot of friction, easily enough to cause rope burn. But our culprit was smart. They weren't burned because they weren't barehanded. Yeah, the culprit had gloves on. One got all torn up from the friction and... And it fell into pool? From what I remember, the only one who wears black gloves is Kirumi, right? Yep. The gloves on your hands now. I take it they're from your dorm? The extra uniforms in our rooms are made of the same material we're wearing now. You can test my theory by comparing the fabric scrap with your glove. Well, Kirumi, will you allow us to compare the black fabric we found in the pool with your gloves? Huh? What's the matter? Why are you sweating so much? Kirumi, what's wrong? In the end, I'm just like them. I'm scared of revealing the truth. Because it means that somehow, or someone has to be sacrificed. But Ka Kaede was scared too. She didn't let that stop her. She thought things through to the end. I faced the truth and doubted it. I kept thinking and kept going. This is where it led me, and I won't turn away from it. I will show you the truth. Closing arguments. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe. Oh, oh god, oh god, I'm gonna die here, okay. Her tying the rope. No, oh, that's that's that. Dang, I was so close to making it through without a death. I was so close to making it through without a trial death. I made it to the final section. That actually is so sad. Oh, okay. This is what what's got me. This is the truth of the case. Act five. The yeah, it did start. Was found this morning during Himiko's underwater escape. That's that's what threw me. As we started at Act five and then worked back. When we saw the piranhas in the tank, we thought that Himiko's escape failed. Of course, it was all part of the act. Himiko's escape went perfectly. But when Angie opened the curtain in front of the tank, we saw Ryoma with piranhas swarming around him. Before any of us could react, the piranhas devoured Ryoma's body. And all that was left 
were his bones and the handcuffs he was wearing. That horrifying sight was the finishing touch on the culprit's own twisted magic trick. The culprit obfuscated the time and place of the murder, implicating Himiko in the process. Act Instead, one. The crime began last night around 8.55 p.m. While preparing for the show in the gym, the culprit had a chance to be alone. It was then that the culprit used the ladder to reach the piranha tank and removed the glass lid to put inside the tank. They used it as a partition to force the piranhas to one side of the tank. Next, the culprit took the rope from the stage wing in the gym and used the ladder once more, this time to climb up to the gym's window. Once there, they opened the window and tied one end of the rope to the window frame. The rope was then thrown out the window toward the pool. These preparations were key for the culprit's elaborate plan. At nighttime, past midnight, the culprit asked Ryoma to meet at his lab. All the pieces were in place. The culprit was ready to murder. First, the culprit knocked Ryoma out, probably striking him from behind. Then, they put the handcuffs from the shower room on Ryoma's wrists. shoved his head into the sink filled with water. From the water and the pain of drowning, Ryoma should have woken up and struggled. The culprit anticipated his resistance, which is why Ryoma was handcuffed. The struggle left scrapes on the cuffs and sink, but in the end, Ryoma succumbed. Ryoma was dead, but the culprit's plan had only just begun. They removed the cable from the tennis net and hung it from the window facing the pool. And then, at the pool, they connected the wire and the rope from the gym window. They returned to the lab after picking up one last thing. The rubber inner tube that was in the pool's tool shed. Once back in the lab, the culprit pulled the cable, bringing up the rope. Pulled until the rope was taut, then tied it to the lab's window frame. And thus, the gym and the lab windows were connected by a single rope. After making a hanger of sorts with another length of rope tied to the inner tube, they hung the inner tube on the rope connecting the windows.
That's how the culprit created the ropeway that was used to move the body. An impressive premeditated murder, but the culprit... Oh, two critical mistakes. My bad. The culprit got on the inner tube with Ryoma's body and slid toward the gym. With the height difference between the windows, they would have built up quite some speed. To avoid crashing through the window, the culprit used a brake. They used their own hand to grip the rope and slow down. That would have caused significant rope burn had the culprit not been wearing gloves. But due to the friction, part of a glove tore off and dropped in the pool. Regardless, the culprit reached the window and put Ryoma's body into the piranha tank. The glass pane not only kept the piranhas and the body separated, it also kept the piranhas so close together, they concealed the body. After that, all the culprit had to do was untie the rope and the inner tube. But that's when they made their second mistake. One end of the rope came loose, and the inner tube dropped into the pool. Thus, the culprit was forced to leave two key pieces of evidence, the fabric and the inner tube. They couldn't retrieve the evidence because of the rule against swimming at nighttime. That's the whole story. Am I wrong, Kirumi Tojo? The ultimate maid? Kirumi, that's the conclusion I reached. Do you have any objections? This is very, very unfortunate, Chuichi. My pride as a maid demands that I fulfill every request that I receive. Just to end like this. Does that mean you admit it? Kirumi. Why use your own gloves, though? The warehouse should have had plenty. There weren't any. Obviously, she would have used them if they were available. Jeez, Monokuma provided everything but the gloves. That's pretty sadistic. But thanks to him, at least the game became way more interesting. So, it's decided. This case was decided the moment someone, who shall not be named, opened their big mouth. <laughs> you don't know that. Maybe the real culprit is someone nobody expects. That is right. No need to worry. Oh, Monotem. You're like a mommy taking care of her sick child. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, let's go. The heart racing excitement as the blackened and the spotless finally face off. It's voting time. The voting has finished. Let's see the results. It's gonna be everybody on Karumi. Everybody at three on Karumi, I should say, because the th there's three that can't vote right now. Karumi voted for Shuichi. How petty. Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice? Or the dreadfully wrong one. Verdict.
It's unfortunate because we're literally starting on square one now, basically, with free time again. But it's fine. <laughs> Uh Yeah, I feel like I did really well in the trial. I think I maybe got one B. Oh my god, I got straight A's. Let's freaking go. Wait, did that say back route? On the bottom corner, it said back route. Wait, what? Oh my, you all voted correctly. What an unexpected and unpredictable outcome. The blackened who killed Ryoma Hiyoshi is Kurumi Tojo, the ultimate maid. Yay! Bravo! Bravo! Thank goodness. Phew, thank goodness! We've managed to get through that clutch trial again! You gotta be kidding me! There's nothing good about this at all! <laughs> Why? Why did you have to do it, Kurumi? Yeah. Truly, this result was unexpected. Wait! How can you be so calm about it? No way. But Gata, no can believe it was Kurumi. Kurumi, so helpful for everyone. <sighs> Same Kurumi is also culprit. Hey, hey, how long have you been lying to us? <laughs> Is that why you took such good care of us? So you could deceive everyone? Uh, you mean she's not my mom? Hey. She was never your fucking mom! Hey, Krumi, tell me, why? You were always thinking about everyone around you. How could you kill someone? <laughs> Human beings always created, or have always been selfish, self-centered creatures! <laughs> That's why I hate humans. They burn down the forests that we call home and pollute the rivers that we drink from. I will never forgive humans. But is that really the reason to destroy them? Some humans are really nice. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut up. Enough with this commentary already. Okay. Well, Karumi, were your feelings towards us simply another falsehood? No. no, no, it can't be. I say it ain't so. This was just another lie too. No. No, I don't think so. I still believe Kurumi cares about us. What? And how would you know? Hmm. I can't say for certain, but I can sense that trial has been agonizing for her. You can't say for certain, hmm? Then what is the detect- If that is what a detective would say. Um. Kurumi, are you upset? Because of the people important to you? Um. You mean like from the Moda video? So Kurumi watched hers after oh. all? Either Kurumi mentioned that she had accepted a request. Earlier, Kamuni, or Kaye, a little bit, Kurumi mentioned that she accepted a request. Perhaps that request came from the, someone important in her motive video. What's wrong? Do you have nothing to say for yourself? I do not agree. No, that's not it. I'm just lost. Because if you, I tell you why I did it, you will regret what you've done. Regret? Yeah. Spit it out already! Otherwise, we cannot accept this outcome! Please, Please Kurumi, tell us. I care about you a lot. And I know the other care about you too, so please. Understood. Very well then. If you are all so desperate to I know, I will consider this a final request and tell you everything. Uh, no. no more lies then. You better just tell us the truth, please and thank yes. you. Yes, I understand. Your reasoning was exactly right. The reason I murdered Ryoma, or Ryoma, was because I saw in my Moda video. Mm. Oh, as I thought, you indeed watched your Moda video. Mm. Does that mean that someone broke the agreement and traded you your motive video? All right, fess up. Which one of you did it? Close your eyes and raise the hand. It was one of you. Why would the one raising their hand need to close their eyes? That won't be necessary. I did not trade my motive video with anyone. Huh? If you didn't trade your motive video, then how'd you see your motive video? That's what she got. Perhaps Karumi received her own motive video? Huh? You mean she had her own motive video from the start? Correct. No one had my motive video, but me, the video's intended recipient. I have no idea why. That's not possible! Monica, what the hell is going on? Huh? You mean I meant to bring this up earlier? Because it's been bugging me for a while. All this talk about the videos being switched, what does that mean exactly? 
Don't play dumb. You're the one who switched up all the Moda no, videos. No. no, no, I didn't! Huh? I knew Moda Cup shenanigans was happening. Mm. Oh. oh, was I not supposed to ask that? Did you come screw up again? Huh? Not supposed to. Dumbass. It's all Monofany's fault. She passed them out without checking the names. <laughs> what? I know Monotaro should have checked the names too! <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't even remember passing out any videos. It was my fault. Yeah. What? I'm sorry. I apologize. I should have been more careful. No, no Monodom, it's not your fault. Okay. It's all your all. It's all our fault. I'm yeah. sorry too. Oh, it seems that I misunderstood. Yeah. I completely yeah. forgot the plan all along was to redistribute the videos. Hey, it's not your fault at all. It's or it's not your fault at all, kids. It's my fault for forgetting. Thank goodness. What in the hell is this mushy feel good crap? Are you stupid? Are you all, you're all idiots. I'm going, uh, I'm through getting along with your dummy bears. Well, now. I'm sorry to cause too much trouble or so much trouble. Please continue with your boring conversation. I see. The monocubs merely distributed the random videos at random. Receiving my own was nothing more than bad luck. Oh, I see. oh so you just watched it without knowing why it was given to you? What was in your video? What's wrong? Well, you promised to tell us everything. Yes. I will tell you the truth in its entirety, but I doubt everyone will believe it. So. If that's the case, then why don't we all watch your Moda video together? Hi. Yes! That would be much better! Let's hurry before Daddy gets bored again! How thorough of you. Yet I suppose it is the better way. Perhaps the truth will be easier to believe if you witness it with your own eyes. After had, um, Kurumi had spoken, the Monocubs began playing the video. Karumi Tojo's motive video. Right. Back by popular demand, it's time for the motive video. Who's the most important person in your life? And now, without further ado, Karumi Tojo, the ultimate maid. With clients in politics and finance, this elite maid is renowned for completing any request. One fateful day. She was suddenly summoned by one of her most influential clients, the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister had a request of utmost importance. He requested that she use her talent as the ultimate maid to serve her country. He asked Kirumi to make this country great again. <laughs> all his authority to her. <laughs> The way that he said that line! Oh my god! No one suspected that the Prime Minister's new secretary was secretly running the country. Oh my god, that line was great! Monica would deliver that line so well! And over time, she became the de facto Prime Minister. Only Kirumi could save the country from impending doom. Yes! The future of the country rests entirely on her capable shoulders. But Kirumi is up to the task, for she only accepts requests that only she can fulfill. She is driven by the belief that her citizens are the most important people in her life. Oh, and while we're on the subject of those important people, an unfortunate event will soon befall those vermin and sheeple. What event, you ask? It's a secret. Find out for yourself. <laughs> huh? It can't be. What? What the hell? The Prime Minister? Everything you just saw is true. Though, I only remembered it upon watching that video. Remembered. Wait. Please hold on. That video is true? What is this? That's ridiculous. There's no way Karumi's really the prime minister. No, it's the truth. I am Karumi Tojo, the ultimate maid, and the important people to me this is my are the citizens devotion. of this country. I was called upon to lift the country out of a dire situation. I swore to serve and help all its citizens. As the ultimate maid, I have advised politicians many times in the past. 
but he wanted me to prioritize saving the country from an unprecedented crisis. I fully accepted this request. As a maid, it is a great honor to serve the nation itself. What did I do? You're literally confusing the shit out of me right now because this makes no sense and I gotta take a dub. I see. So Kurumi was the real prime minister, running the country behind the scenes. Huh? How can you seriously believe that a high schooler could be a prime minister? You really don't get it. I don't think it's odd that an ultimate level talent could be that powerful. I mean, K-Boy's talents let him pretend to be human, so even though he's a heartless robot... How rude. How rude. I am not pretending. I am still learning. I see. Ah, I see. Well, good luck, I guess. <laughs> Incredible. I was aware of Karumi's impressive talents, but Prime Minister? Then Karumi really is Prime Minister. She hold burden of country future. Actually. The motive video aside, Karumi doesn't seem like she'd lie about something like that. Hey, hey. I get that Karumi is really important, but what is this unprecedented crisis? I, I do not know, actually. Why can't I remember? Uh, um, With our memories lost. That's... Wait. Isn't this just like the ultimate hunt? Perhaps it is connected to the ultimate hunt. Huh? The ultimate hunt is connected to this unprecedented crisis facing the nation. Um, if that's true, how is it connected? What is the ultimate hunt anyway? I do not know. I do not know what is happening with to the notion while I am here inside the end wall. That is why I needed to know. I needed to know what the most important people in my life, or that the most important people in my life are safe. This is my selfless because devotion. I am duty and, or because I am duty and honor bound to protect every citizen of the nation. My apologies. That is why I needed to escape. So... so you weighed our lives against the lives of everyone else's in the nation. But, but if those are the op options, of course you pick everyone outside, right? That's, there's just too many lives at stake out there. And we just stopped Kurumi from doing that because I'm very selfishly wanted to live. Like what, 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 what should we do? Did we make some terrible mistake? If everyone outside dies because Kurumi is dead, Why? does that make mean we pretty much destroyed the country? What do we do? Wait. Say what Monokuma's pl so say what's Monokuma planning to do with the rest of humanity? You know how many people are going to live in this country? Like a hundred million easily. No matter how powerful the mastermind is, there is no way they could really. Bears do not fly. Bears do not fly. Hey, um. I am the ruler of this new world. Nothing is beyond my power. Huh? Nothing is beyond your power. What kind of arrogant, ridiculous? One hundred percent. That is one hundred percent a lie. It is impossible that he could be bring a disaster to a country. <laughs> what are you trying? What's to so funny? You guys act like you cannot believe it, but you are all terrified anyway. If you can't believe it, then you're terrified for no reason. Why do humans lie? Why are humans the only animal that tells lies? Shut up. Hey, cut that out. This is serious. How long are you going to keep talking about Kurumi? Let's talk about Ryoma. It would be a shame to completely neglect him. See? Oh, that's right. We know your motive to kill, but why to kill Ryoma re specifically? Because he was easy to kill. Huh? Easy to kill. Weird. Ryoma not weak when he uses Shukichi method. Even Gonta go catch. Agree. His physical restraint, his physical strength, was irrelevant when he did not have a reason to live. Do you agree? Without that, he became the weakest among us. Huh? What? I took advantage of his weakness, and killed him. Um, uh, what do you mean? Is... I told him I had an urgent matter to discuss and m to meet me in the research lab on the third floor. And there, I revealed my motive video. And afterward, I told that him, I am responsible for the life of every citizen of the nation, so I must escape this place. Then he responded, Shh. Got it. So, you've got a reason to survive. That's the complete opposite of me. <laughs> hmm. That's good. Your... If you've got something to live for, it means your life has value. <laughs> hmm. After he said that, he told me he would clean up the tennis balls lying around. And then, he turned his back toward me. At that moment, my determination solidified. 
A person like him would have noticed my blood thirst emanating. He already knew. He forfeited his life right then and there. That is correct. That is when I decided I must sacrifice his life for the nation of my people. Then, then Ryoma knew he was going to be killed. But... Wait a minute! It's Maki's fault that Ryoma decided he didn't want to live anymore. What? Because... Ryoma only gave up on life after you showed him his Moda video. Well, since you didn't watch his Moda video, I guess there was no way of knowing. What talking about? What's your point? Wait! Wait a minute. If you're talking about... You're talking as if you saw that motive video. Didn't you just say that he only checked the or that he only checked the name and didn't watch the video? Huh? Did I say that? Huh? What are you getting at? Well, you know. I probably shouldn't say anything, but someone has to step up and speak for poor Rioma. Told you. Again, what is your point? That he gave up on the life because he I showed him his motive video? Um... Oh, I get that. Or I'll get to that in a sec, but why don't you think Ryoma wanted to see his motive video? It's because he was looking for a reason to live. Isn't that right, Maki? Why? How do you know that? What? Swap motive videos. Didn't we agree not to show them earlier? Or to yeah. each other? Yeah, I remember. Because once you've watched them, you've got a motive to kill. But, but if it shows something important to me, I'd really like to see that. Hey. Any idea who will be in the motive video? No. I don't. That's why I want to see it. <laughs> Once I know I've got something important to me, I'll have a reason to Jeez. live. If I've got a reason to live, then I've got a reason to escape here with you guys. In other words... In other words, that video might just give me the reason to live. Please. Or the motive to live, so please. That's true. You're right. He was looking for a reason to live. Well, which means you shouldn't have shown him his motive video in the first place. What do you mean? What did his video show? Ah. Nothing, because his motive video was empty. Empty? Oh, we're up next. Let's give it a watch, shall we? All right, back by popular demand, it's time for the motive video. Who's the most important person in your life. And now, without further ado, this message is for Ryoma Hoshi, the ultimate tennis pro. Unfortunately, there is no one in the world who is important to you. I'm so sorry. Really, I am. You have my deepest sympathies. Sorry. 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 Wow. No one? No one was important to him? Always messing around. That's what he was shown? If he saw something like that, he had no care for, for and no one who cared for him. He found no motive to live. And because of that, he chose to let Kurumi claim his life. So that's why I must have just watched that video before I summoned him. Or he must have just watched that video before I summoned him to meet me. It, it can't he, be. He just gave up then. Damn. To hell with that! That damn moron! But... Uh, it's bad to not have a reason to live, but it's also bad to not have, or to have too many reasons to live. That's why you did such a terrible thing, right, Kurumi? For too many reasons? You are free to judge me for killing Ryoma. I would bear the burden of being seen as evil for the sake of my nation and its people. Because that is what it means to serve with selfless devotion. That's why I needed to survive. Sacrificing you all meant saving the lives of men, women, and children, and the elderly. I wanted to live. Kurumi. <sighs> Monokuma Ganta got question. You need something? Oh, what is it? Hey. Can Ganta be blackened instead of Kurumi? Huh? What? Gonta. Ganta not smart boy, but even Ganta understand what everyone's saying. <sighs> Kurumi should live, not Ganta. World needs her. Um, I was thinking the same thing. I don't want to die, but Kurumi's life is way more valuable than my own. <laughs> Kurumi's got the lives of hundreds of billions of people on her shoulders, right? Unfortunately. Logically, Kurumi's survival would result in fewer casualties in the collective survival world. Or then our collective survival world. Jeez. 
Maybe it would have been better if we got the culprit wrong. What do you mean? If Kurumi survives, then the nation's future will be secure. Then what's the point in me doing all of this? Why did I reveal the truth? What have I done? Was I wrong? I, I shouldn't have. Shuichi. What kind of face is that, Shuichi? If you're my sidekick, then suck it up. Huh? What? Hey. That goes for all of you. To hell with the value of life shit. Right. Life is not just some thing. You can't trade it for or put a price on it. Kaido. Listen up. And your life does not belong, just belong to you. It's for your parents, your grandparents, your friends, and even your neighbors. I mean, it's not something you can just decide to throw away on your own. Don't worry about it. So if we didn't do the wrong thing, then life's purpose is to be lived. As long as you stay alive, anything's possible. You can't even, or you can even go to the stars. So I'm going to go, or I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I want to live. I haven't traveled to space yet. There's no way in hell I'm going to die here. <sighs> the idiot's talking again. But he's right. I mean, you're right too. He's an idiot, but he's right. Yup, yup. He's the Atua damned idiot. <laughs> I don't know why, but the idiots always fill me with inspiration. Shut up. Hey, shut up. I told you to stop calling me an idiot. Maybe his speech is just what we needed to hear. Karumi certainly looks shaken by it. Huh? Shaken? Because? Do you really think someone as desperate as to live as Karumi would give up so easily? Of course not. In fact, she probably still doesn't even give it up now. <laughs> she was hoping that learning the truth would make one of us volunteer to die in her place. Huh? What? But... But Monokuma would never allow the Blacken to escape punishment, so maybe she wanted to re everyone to rebel so she could use it to cover up her escape on her own. <laughs> How about it, Kurumi? Am I close? You were the most detestable Cretan I have ever met. You knew exactly what I would attempt, yet allowed me to explain anyway. Huh? Wait, what he just said was true? Me? You mean try to trick Gonta? Trying to trick everyone? Really? Seriously, you backstabbing cunt! Oh. Enough. She was just trying to stay alive in her own way. Nobody can blame her for That's that. Right. That's right. I must survive. Because I carry the weight of the entire nation on my shoulders. I would not have killed Ryoma if it wasn't easily deterred. This request will not be fulfilled until I have brought joy to every citizen of the nation. You must live. No matter what, I cannot die. This is why I killed Ryoma. Even now I can refuse to give up. Huh? Karumi. You still refuse to give up? So, what do you intend to do? You must live. I intend to live. I must survive no matter what it takes. If I, I, if I must debase myself, so be it. I would drink filth and eat carry-on to survive. I will survive. I will do anything to survive. She screamed and she started running. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. It was completely an undignified exit. I won't die here. <laughs> There's no way I'm letting you out of here. It was ugly and raw and feral. She just ran as fast as she could. I heard my voice call out. We're run. Damn it. Run! Run, Karumi! Please run! Hurry! Run! Please hurry! Damn. Hurry! Run! Hey. Like I said, I'm not letting you leave! Please. Run! I will live! I refuse to die in a hellhole like this! Now then, I've prepared a special punishment for Kirumi Tojo, the ultimate maid! What are you up to, Monokuma? For my people! Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! The heck? Will not die! Wow! They're setting this up. Karumi has been found guilty. Time for the punishment. Oh my gosh. Notice to quit. 
Thorns, Strand of Agony, Ultimate Maid executed. What? Oh! Oh my god! Using her own determinants again. Oh my god. Her own determinants is being used against her. Holy. Wow. Ho 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 ho! Dang, Monokuma! <gasps> yep, bye bye bye, Monosuke! Not. <laughs> After. I, I. As soon as Monosuke messed up the trial, I knew he was dead. That was one of the best executions I think I've seen in a series. Th Monokuma used his Kurumi's own determination against her and literally got her to sacrifice herself because she wanted to get out that bad. That was amazing. That invoked so much emotion. And like that was really, really good. Really? Well, why, Monodom? Why you kill Monosuke? If you need to vomit, let it out. You will feel much better afterward. Monosuke, he was no different from Mono Kid. He was getting in the way of us getting along. We do not need him. Don't need him. We few remaining Mono Cubs must get along. No matter what, we must always get along. Not even father can stop us from getting along. Not if he knows what is good for him. Huh. This academy belongs to us. The age of the Mono Cubs begins now. <laughs> How dare you take that rebellious tone with me, young man! And yet, this angsty attitude of yours is so cute! It's so cute how little your crew has shrunk, member one by one! Yep, shrunk. You're not getting any larger, are you, no? Uh, it's so unbearably cute. All this cuteness makes me feel like I'm about to sneeze. What? Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, ugly bitch! Who are you calling an ugly bitch? It doesn't matter. Now is not the time for that. Uh, Karumi, I cannot take this anymore. Even Karumi was killed so brutally. I don't want to do this anymore. Uh, am I gonna end up like that too? I won't let that happen, Himiko. I will protect you no matter what. I will protect you no matter what. But, 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 I don't want to do this anymore either. Please, let us stop the killing game. I do not care if we stay trapped here forever. Come on, come on. Oh, isn't that what Atua said? All desire, even your desire to escape this place can corrupt you beyond, are you beyond redemption? It's Monokuma who's the culprit. He's the one who made, distributed the motive videos. I see, yes. Ah, oh, those videos are more dangerous than we thought. And to have driven Kirumi that That's far? True. That what worries me? As long as we're trapped here, we don't know what's true or false. Okay. That must be why Kirumi did what not want to show the videos. She thought if everyone else felt the same murderous rage as she did, this killing game would just be pure, pure chaos. She wanted to stop it. If that's the case, then we really shouldn't show our videos to each other. Of course. That's what our contest is from the beginning was, not including you, of course. However. Uh, I had assumed Ko or Kokichi would try to show us the videos to get us under our skin, but that did not come to pass. But I wonder where there were his intentions. Huh? I'd never do anything like that. I'm just thinking about what Kurumi said. Uh, um, what Kurumi said. Everything you just saw was true, though I only remembered it upon watching that video. That's... What she said earlier, correct? Huh? 
What about it? She said she remembered, and it didn't sound like a lie either. I see. Huh. Maybe that video had the properties of the flashback light, if it made her remember. Huh? The properties of the flashback light? Still, how could Kurumi remember, or remember something she never should have forgotten? Serving the entire nation seems too important to her just to forget. That's true. Does it mean that we have motives to kill that we'll remember by watching our videos? And if that's the case, maybe it's for the best that we don't watch the videos. As long as we don't see the videos, we won't know our motives. Okay. Yeah, now I'm probably convinced it's probably for the best. Those motive videos would mess up, or would mess us up. It's better that we believe in each other. Yeah. That's right. It's best that we not remember our motives for everyone's sake. Hearing you speak of everyone's sake is the least believable lie I've heard yet. So How rude! I was always doing stuff for everyone else's it's sake. I'm sure you won't believe me when I say stuff like that, so I'll just keep lying. Um, but maybe see Kurumi's final moments has made me change my views. Because... She tried to escape until the very end, running away to live. It might not be a bad idea. You're right. Maybe. Maybe facing the truth isn't enough. That's right. Yeah, true. It's okay to run sometimes, but you have to win in the end. That's all you gotta do. And with that, the second class trial ended for us. A Furic victory. We had still lost a, fed, a friend. And what is the end Kaido spoke of, and how do we reach it? I don't know. I still don't know. When we returned to the courtroom, the area was already blanketed in darkness. For now. For now, we should rest. To me, that seems like the most rational course of action. You're right. Yeah. My brain is out of juice from going full throttle all like day. You. Like you even have a brain to use. Anyway, this killing game is over. I will not allow it to go on. It'll be, okay. It'll be fine as long as we listen to Atua. We'll be just fine. What's wrong? What's wrong, Gata? Why are we staring up at the sky? Mm. It's just, even when all the bad stuff happens, stars are always so pretty. But, but stars here different, not the same as ones Gonta used to. Uh, um, different? Do you mean the position of the stars? Mm. Yeah, Gonta looking, but can no find star he remembers. Why? But why? Were we taken somewhere far away? Far away. Hey, so. Hey, let's head back already. I'm wiped out. Okay. Yeah. Hey. Hold on. I have to tell you guys something. Uh. What now? Like I said, I'm wiped out. Oh, now, now. It won't take that long. So just listen to what I have to say. What is it? Well then, is what is it that you have to say? Um, Everyone seems to be treating me like I'm some kind of compulsive liar. You get it? But that's ridiculous. I'm way worse. There's a way worse liar than me in the group. Huh? A liar worse than you? <laughs> I'm talking about Maki. Huh? What? What do you mean, Maki's a liar? Ah. Maki admitted it during the class trial, remember? Ryoma wanted her to show him his motive video because he was looking for a reason to live. But that wasn't the whole story. Ryoma was blackmailing you, wasn't he, Maki? Huh? Blackmail? Um. Ryoma just happened to discover Maki's true identity. So he used that to blackmail her. I bet he said something like, If you don't show me that motive video, I'll tell everyone who, what you really are. That's why Maki didn't want to show or want to know he met with or she met with Ryoma. She wanted to keep her true identity a secret, and that's why she kept quiet until the last Hold minute. On. Why you? What shit are you making up now? Maki's true identity? What? Ha <laughs> I've known Maki's true identity this whole time. For that moment, for a moment there, I thought Maki had disappeared. She moved so fast. <laughs> Stirring the pot more, Kokichi. You know, this is an interesting turn of events. But, but would you really kill me in front of everyone? Hey, Maki, what the hell's going on? Yeah, you can probably snap my neck like a twig right now. But that's not your style. You, you would rather kill from the shadows right miss ultimate assassin <laughs> oh <clears throat> 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 
That's where we're ending this? That's where we're ending this. Wow. In the next episode of Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony, we will start Chapter 3. How insane is that? I have to stay hang on in this cliffhanger for a hot minute. But yeah, thank you guys again for everything and so much for watching. I love you guys. You guys make everything so much fun. And we'll see you guys, like I said, in Chapter 3 when we figure out the entirety of this thing. We'll see you guys next time.